Oh, hello there. I'm Communications Officer Floor. I was just in the middle of checking out our 4th of July festival schedule. This year's 4th of July schedule starts Sunday, July 2nd and goes till Tuesday, July 4th. Did you know that last year there was over 55,000 people that attended the Monona Community Festival? There's a lot of time, effort, and work that goes into these festivals. What is that time, effort, and planning, you may ask? Well, let me show you. So events of this size, like our Memorial Day Parade, we utilize all the tools and resources we have available to us to keep everyone safe. Some of these tools and resources we use are a patrol rifle, as you see here, as well as a drone, rescue task force people from the Monona Fire Department, and canine handlers. To give you a better understanding of what this looks like, let's go check out the drone. Come with me. Now let's take a closer look at one of the resources you will be utilizing and festival goers may see. It's a UAS, a unmanned aerial system, commonly known as a drone, piloted by Detective Bomb Camp. Wow, that's impressive. As we continue on this journey of public safety, showcasing our different resources and tools we're gonna to be utilizing at this year's 4th of July event, let's check in at the Monona Fire Department, speak with Chief McMullen about their newly formed rescue task force and those pesky fireworks. Come with me. Well, we've made it to the Monona Fire Department. You may see that I'm holding on to some fireworks here. We'll get to that in a second. What I do wanna discuss first is the newly formed Rescue Task Force with the Monona Fire Department and the Police Department. You see Chief McMullen here donning a Rescue Task Force ballistic vest. It is no secret that firefighters are continuously imitating and trying to be police officers. However, this newly formed highly trained team is utilizing events like this where they can get in and render aid to more critical incidents in a faster, more efficient manner. They'll be wearing these special vests while also riding in a 6x6 UTV vehicle. Fantastic. Now, to the point of main discussion here. It's no secret that 4th of July is commonly associated with fireworks, right? What I have here are badger balls, warning, shoots flaming balls, and dragon's roar firecrackers. I don't know if you know this or not, but we have been in a severe drought this year, and the Monona Ordinance prohibits any fireworks that leave the ground or explode. Chief McMullen is a fire expert. Is this a good idea to shoot off this 4th of July? No. There you have it. In all seriousness, the Monona Community Festival is a multi-day, large-scale event with thousands of people in attendance. We here at the City of Monona Police Department and Fire Department as well have been diligently planning and organizing to make sure this year's event is safe and goes off without a hitch like years past. Thank you.